for me, it's been it's been a bit of a journey. A lot of the time with Ironman, it gets to that point where you just want to finish. It's not about the time. It's just about getting yourself over that line. And when you speak to friends and that's, oh geez, you're crazy. What are you doing that for? Leaving dinners early because you've got to go and train at you know four in the morning the next day. So yeah, it's pretty much moving forward that way. Uh, I guess it'd have to be the internal battle. Um, the amount of times that you want to die <laughs> during a race, I guess. Just understanding at the start line what you're about to do to your body. Um, and it's, it's a big build up. Uh, the nervous system is just going through the roof. I guess what training is important for is it builds mental folders. So I guess when you get to a point in the race where you start to feel like you're in pain, you're about to hurt or you're going to explode, you go to those mental folders and you say, look, I've done this before. You know, I trust in my training and then you can kind of release a little bit more, but um, you do go through, go through a few stages of grief and uh, pain and, you know, then your body gives way sometimes as well, which is out of your control. You know, you'll start throwing up or you'll get diarrhea and they're the ugly parts of the sport that you, uh, you don't get to see on television, but uh, they're the things that happen daily behind our closed doors. I've had many experiences uh, in training, especially one that comes to mind. I went on a a really big ride in the morning and it had been 140 k's, so it would have been about five hours. And I got back and I couldn't even remember the ride. But you kind of just blank out, almost like you've just passed out and then you come to. And that was the most amazing experience I've ever felt in my life. The Hawaiian Ironman is a, uh, it's a 3.8 k swim. Um, you've got a 180 k ride and then a 42 k run. Swimming was my weakest because I was a bit, of, a bit fearful of swimming out in the ocean on my own, so that was kind of like a bucket list thing to get that done. The ride is uh, through all the lava fields, so the heat that radiates off the rocks is uh, it's intense and it's always a massive crosswind as well. There's no relief, it's just a tough, gruelling race just to get yourself to the end. Having your family there at the end just to support and give you a hug at the end, it's, uh, it's the most emotional thing I've ever experienced. I guess it's the pinnacle of all Ironmans in the world um, and you're the top of the top. You're the best of the best if you're there.